Welcome to my Southern Charm Readathon vlog. Uh, this is a readathon that is for the entire month of May and it's being hosted by a bunch of different lovely ladies and friends of mine. Be sure to check out their channels, they will be linked. But I'm super excited about this readathon because. I don't know if you heard my brother, he's playing video games, so just ignore him. I'm super excited about this readathon because if y'all don't know, I am a Georgia girl. All of these prompts and the names of them and everything just like make me so happy. Uh, the ladies did such a amazing job creating these prompts. I'm gonna put the little bingo card thing up here so you can see it. It's so cute and I love it. For the first one, bless your heart, I'm gonna be reading The River Between by Jacqueline Cook and I'm going to be buddy reading this um, with a friend of mine. She's not on a book too. Some of the reviews that I looked at on Goodreads, people said it was a heartwarming book. So I'm taking their word on this and it's historical romance. And yeah, prompt number two is sweet tea. And that's a book with something sweet on the cover or a sweet story. And for this one, I picked Husband Auditions by Angela Ruth Strong. This is contemporary romance and it just sounded really cute. So I thought this was going to be a very like sweet book. Actually, I've already read this one and I'll talk more about it later, but it was really good and I really liked it a lot and it was very sweet. Next is Hot as, Hot as, yeah, Hot as Blue Blazes. I don't know why I can't. And this is a book, you know, with a really hot setting. And for this one, I picked Borders of the Heart by Chris Fabry. It's set in Arizona in a little fictional town. This book, I do not, I've already started it and I'm on page 45. I don't know why I bought this book in the first place. I got it at Goodwill like a while ago. I don't know why I bought this because after I bought it and got it home, I was like, I do not think this is something I'm going to like. Sometimes you just intuitively know. But I bought it because the synopsis sounded interesting but i just had a feeling that i was gonna get bored with the writing if that makes sense it's like this guy finds this illegal immigrant girl like almost dead in the desert and he like helps her and is trying to like hide her from some bad men that are after her that have come from like mexico and all this stuff and there's gonna be like a romance so i was like it sounds kind of interesting i feel like it's a little too soon to tell i'm not gonna dnf this so easily i want to give when i own a book i want to give it a really good chance before I feel justified unhauling it. It's not terrible so far, but like it's not that great either. I probably won't even make it to page 100 if we're being honest. I'm already just like wanting to read other stuff, but I'm like making myself continue for a little bit longer just to make sure that it's not going to get like amazing but I don't think it's going to. But anyway, this is the one I picked out for that prompt. I don't really have a replacement for that one if I DNF it, but I'm not really super strict with myself with readathon prompts. If I even attempt to read a book for a prompt and then DNF it, I still kind of count that as like a win because I tried and now I know this is a book that I do not like and I can get rid of it. So it still just feels like progress. You know what I mean? The next one is Heavens to Betsy and this is a book that will like shock you. And for that, I don't, I didn't gather any of these books beforehand. So I'll be right back again. I picked Echoes Among the Stones by Jamie Jo Wright for this one. And I don't really think this book will shock me. Well, it might. I do get pretty surprised. Usually she puts some twists in there that I don't see coming and I'm like, 
gosh. So actually, yeah, I, I might be shocked. I got this one for Christmas. I think my brother got me this one. I'm so excited. Jamie Jo Wright is one of my favorite authors and I love the cover for this one. I've heard a lot of people say this is like their least favorite of hers, but I do know of some people that said this is their favorite by her. So obviously it just depends from person to person. I'm really hoping that I love it. The cover looks really eerie. It's like, look, you can see the gravestones in the back and like the gate, it looks really spooky and I'm all for it. I don't really know what this one is about. So we'll find out together. Next is a free space. And for that one, I decided to read Fugitive by Chris Bradford. This is the final book in the Bodyguards, Body, I said it right, Bodyguard. I always struggle when I say Bodyguard. I did already read this one as well. And again, I'll talk about it later, but I've been really, really enjoying this series. This is Secular mm, YA about this kid, this teenage kid who is recruited to be in this bodyguard program where he'll be trained to guard other kids his age. And I've been really enjoying the series. This was the final one. And I think I liked this one the best out of all of them. But again, I'll talk more about this a little later. Next is All the Fixins. This is a book in multiple genres. And I don't really know. I was thinking about doing Radiant by Ashley Bustamante for this one because it's YA and it's fantasy. Does that count? Is YA, does that count as like a genre in and of itself? I don't know if this counts or not, but we're just gonna say Radiant. That's what I'm going with. Next is Chicken and Dumplings, and that's a comfort read or a book you think will be a comfort read. I had picked out a Jeanette Oak book for this one, but then I couldn't wait to read the book and I read the book last month. So now I don't know what to pick because Jeanette Oak books are always really comforting reads to me, but I don't wanna reread anything. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide on this one. So yeah, moving on. Hey y'all is the next one. And that is a book with multiple POVs. Echoes Among the Stones could work for that one. Husband Auditions could work for that one. But if I'm able and I have the time, I would like to read Frenzy by Robert Liparulo. And this is book six, the final book in the Dreamhouse King series. This is Christian, like middle grade slash YA. I hate when I do this, but it's like, you know, when you like you get on a roll with a series and you're reading all the books and you're really into the story. But then if you ever like take a break from the series, maybe because you can't get the next book or something right away, when you come back to it, it's like kind of lost your motivation for it. You've kind of forgotten about it a little bit and started reading other stuff. And now it's like really hard to get back into the story. That's kind of what happened to me with this one. And it's like, I do not want to pick this up. But it's the last book, like, I want to finish it. I have to finish it. And it was a good series, so, like, I know once I get into it, I'll enjoy it. But picking it up and starting it is, like, so hard. Like, I've looked at it so many times, and I'm like, I should read this one next. But then I just cannot, I do not want to read it. We'll see if I get to this one this month. Maybe I'll feel like it later on in the month. I'm really trying hard to complete series, you guys. And then the last prompt is Howdy Partner, and that is... Oh, it's, like, a book about, like, friendship or family as a big theme or something like that. And this one, I also picked Frenzy because the King family is really close, especially Xander and his little brother, David. And I just really love that. Fugitive could work for that one because Connor and one of his friends slash another like fellow bodyguard, they're together through the whole book trying to like save lives and stuff. So it could work for that one as well. Those are the books that I have picked out for the prompts. Now to talk about the two books that I've read that I mentioned, Bodyguard, Fugitive, and Husband Auditions. Let's talk about this one first. This book was interesting because it was very different in that each book is him protecting like a different kid, but in this book, he's not guarding anybody. He's not on an assignment. Something has happened. So he and one other kid, Amir, they have to work together and try to like rescue their friends and so they go to like china and you can kind of see the city in the background it looks so cool he's trying to rescue people and he's sneaking around and in disguise and using all of his training to try to like evade the bad guys and all this stuff so it's kind of like a different thing going on and i actually really really liked it a lot i think it was my favorite in the series i really liked the fact that there was like no romance in this one really um connor does have a girlfriend but they're not together in the story like hardly at all so as much as i have enjoyed the series one thing that I didn't wasn't really a big fan of is that like in the first book I think he's like 13 and there's like this girl and 
they kiss and it's just like this is silly y'all are so young just stop he's a bit older in this one i want to say he's 15 or 16 in this one so it makes sense for him to like have a girlfriend and like i'm good with it there weren't any girls that he was guarding that were like trying to flirt with him and stuff which i really appreciated because that gets on my nerves it was a fun ride i'm actually really sad to see this series end the way it ended there could definitely be a spin-off series and continue on with connor and the other characters which would be really really cool and see them as they get older and the other stuff that they do it would be a lot of fun and i really hope that the author decides to revisit that idea one day that would be so great and i would definitely read those so i hope he does that i really do there's a little bit of language but this book probably had the least amount of language than any of the other books which was great the h word a handful of times and i think that was it the d word once maybe so that was really refreshing that was another reason why i really liked this one a lot husband auditions you guys i had a feeling i was gonna like this book but honestly i was like i'll probably give it like four stars maybe four and a half if i'm lucky i gave this book five stars it was so so cute okay so this is about this girl her name is mary and she has moved in with in her to her brother's apartment he has two other roommates all of her friends have gotten married and she is the last single friend she's in her 30s and she just feels really down and depressed about it they've been passing around this list from like this magazine from like the 1950s that is like 101 ways to get a husband and the friends pass it between each other and now that mary is the last single one the list has been given to her and she thinks it's ridiculous and she's really like upset about it one of her new roommates her brother's friend kai he wants to work in like the movie industry and so he comes up with the brilliant idea that hey you do we'll make like a youtube show you'll do all the things on this list i'll film it it'll help me with my career i'll get noticed maybe you'll get some dates it's a win-win like what have you got to lose so she reluctantly agrees to do this so they they start doing this thing and the youtube channel like blows up and it makes for some really funny like scenes and crazy things that mary does trying to get a man's attention and it's just super funny and it was really cute this i was giggling so much from beginning to end throughout this whole book yeah i don't know what else to say so that's another book down on the readathon list so i would say i'm doing very good so far i might start like echoes among the stones next or maybe i should start my buddy read with my friend i'll have to text her and see what she's doing and if she's ready to start that one i'm just really excited excited about the readathon excited about reading books that i own and making progress with my physical tbr i've already read two five star books for the readathon so yeah we're off to a really great start even if i dnf the other book like this is already a huge success but yeah i guess that's all i wanted to say so i'll see you in the next update
just went with my mom, my friend, and then my friend's mom. It was a very successful shopping trip. We all bought stuff. Um, I got this shirt. Also got these overall shorts. Not sure how I feel about them yet. They're cute. I just don't know how I feel about them on me. I did get a couple of books, If I Live, by Terry Blackstock. Um, I had the first book, and they had the second book there, but it was... The cover was a little bit different than this one. This is like a matte finish and the other one was a shiny glossy finish. And I'm pretty sure I have the matte one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to double check on that one. So I bought this one and I'll have to get book number two at another time. I got The Debutante's Code by Erica Vetch because I heard Lindsay from BSCG, she'd been talking about this one and it sounds really good. It's like a Regency era mystery and I've never read anything by the author, so I took a chance. But I have a really good feeling about it because I know if Lindsay recommended it, it's gonna be really clean and I love Regency mysteries. So like, I feel like I can't go wrong. I haven't really read that much. No, I take it back. I actually, I started The River Between by Jacqueline Cook last night and I read the first five chapters and it's about like this girl who she's like 18 i don't know exactly the time period but it is historical set in like alabama her mom is trying to get her to marry her like cousin who is from like this really important wealthy family from the south carolinas he's a jerk i don't like him immediately but she likes this ship captain who is like french and so she's hoping that she things can work out with him and somehow she can convince her mother to go along with this. I'm buddy reading that one with my friend Hillary, so can't wait to discuss that book with her when she catches up. I started Echoes Among the Stones and I read the prologue and that's as far as I got. I'll update you when I make some more progress. It's Friday, home from work. It was a bit of a busy day, but I made it. I made it through. I came home to packages and I'm very excited. So let's open them up. Chosen merch, as you can see. So I was watching one of Nikki's videos recently and she was showing some shirts that she got and I was like, that is really cool. I need that right now. So I ordered two different ones. I wasn't expecting this one today. Let's see. Oh, I got a sticker. Yeah, okay, it's both shirts. So I got a come and see sticker. I just decided to get this one. If I spent a certain amount, I got free shipping. So like, how could I not? So I just got a basic binge Jesus shirt. This is the chosen on the back. And then the one that I saw that Nikki had that I just like had to get. This is what the front looks like, has the little fishies. And then on the back, it looks like a concert tour tee, but it's actually it says come and see world tour and it's all the places that jesus went during his ministry like they're all listed and then it has him and the disciples and i thought that was like so cool and then i got something from etsy it's another shirt i have a weakness for clothes and a lot of things to be honest but it's an oversized t-shirt like vintage like distressed looking and it says yahweh and then it says the great i am and i thought it was so cool super excited
Okay, so I'm here with another like small haul for you. I have two books and something else to show you. So <laughs> I'm just buying all kinds of things in this video. First of all, I have a package. It has arrived. I know what it is. Let's see. Wasn't supposed to be here until tomorrow, but I love when things come early. Why is this book so small? <laughs> it's so much thinner than I thought it was going to be. Radiant by Ashley Bustamante, book two in the Color Theory series. Oh, I'm so excited. I pre-ordered this and I've just been counting down the days till I would get it. So look at this super fun cover. Look at those colors. It's radiant. It kind of matches my chipped nails. I think this one's a bit thinner than book one. Not my favorite thing to see, but that's okay. I'm just happy that I have this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's see how it looks without... The dust jacket it's like a pretty like green color with gold very pretty sometimes this, the summaries give way too much away oh it doesn't really fit oh no i'm gonna move the wonderland trials because it's lonely and i just need space for one book and i don't like the wonderland trials as much as that series so this can go somewhere else <laughs> even though it does have a gorgeous cover okay besides that i got another book and my friend sent me this in the mail actually it's recorder by kathy mccrum look how pretty it is i'm so excited to have this the cover and spine is so cool sam from the book bunch sent me this for my birthday and i love it so much i'm so excited me and her buddy read this together and we buddy read Aberration uh, book two. We both really loved it a lot so it was just so sweet of her so thoughtful to send me this and I'm so excited to own it. Oh, it's so good. And then my other friend Holly sent me a letter in the mail totally unexpected but she sent me some stickers because if y'all don't know she's a big sticker person and she has like sticker books and everything and she saw some star wars stickers and said she thought of me and sent them to me which is so sweet such a pleasant surprise and i love them so much look at these look at the shiny mandalorian stickers i love it so much i have these puffy baby yoda stickers they're so cute Ugh. the dilemma with stickers is i want to stick them somewhere but i don't want to stick them somewhere you know what i'm saying i actually got these the same day that i got uh, recorder so I came home and it was like the best day ever but moving on to a little reading update so I did finish The River Between by Jacqueline Cook it was entertaining but like not the greatest thing ever like the writing is good but it just the romance felt a little bit fast for my taste but it was entertaining three out of five stars I'm almost done with Echoes Among the Stones by Jamie Jo Wright I would like to point out that I have a bookmark that matches well, kind of. It's, you know, similar, similar colors. I'm on page 268, and yeah, this is dual timeline um, Christian romantic suspense, but it's more like a mystery than suspenseful. It's been good so far, but I feel like it's not, there's not as much going on as there is in her books usually. In the past timeline, this girl's sister was like, violently murdered and she finds finds the body now she's like obsessed with figuring out who the killer is and there's been a couple attempts like on her life so something's definitely going on the past timeline is in like the 1940s and in the modern timeline this girl has come to this town there's been like this really bad flood and everything and now she's working with this british archaeologist to like document the the graves at the cemetery and figure out like who's buried where and like fix the records of it and stuff like that something like that it's a little bit confusing I don't know exactly like what is going on but um they're doing that and she comes across the grave of Hazel Grayson the girl that was murdered in the 40s and she like something is going on there and she realizes that the murder was like never solved and everything so now she's kind of getting wrapped up in it and everything I'm wondering if there's going to be any big twist of reveals at the end just because there usually is but like I said this book has been like a little bit different from her others so I'm not really sure but I'm hoping it will because it hasn't been like very exciting after this one I'm probably gonna start radiant I might need to end this vlog really really soon I'm not really sure how much footage I have I kind of feel like I haven't vlogged that much but I think once I get it on my laptop and start editing it's gonna be a lot more than I'm thinking because I feel like it's just like I've been filming for like weeks <laughs> well I guess it's been about two weeks um today is the 15th so yeah I'll catch up with you guys later 
so me my parents and my brother are getting ready to leave right now because today is my grandmother's birthday so we're gonna go down to her house and visit with her take her cake eat lunch and everything and just hang out for a while but i wanted to give you a quick update and then end this vlog because i think i just have this has been going on for way too long <laughs> it's time to be over i don't know why i don't want to end it i just keep starting new books i ended echoes among the stones and i liked it but i think it was definitely different than the other novels by the author that I've read. I feel like it was a lot simpler. Um, usually her books are very like there's so much going on in the present and past timeline that they're hard to explain. This one was very just like there's a murder in the past timeline and they're trying to solve who it was. That's it. <laughs> so I can't really like it was almost like boring in a way like not boring but boring for a Jamie Jo Wright novel I feel like but like it was also like kind of depressing like the past timeline like this girl she's really depressed and obviously like traumatized from finding her sister's body she's going through all this grief and then the way it ended some things didn't happen that I wanted to happen and I was like what why are you doing this to me Jamie put it at a three and a half star on Goodreads but like I'm still thinking about it. It definitely wasn't spooky at all either. And then I did start Radiant by Ashley Bustamante and I'm buddy reading that one with Holly and Lindsay. I'm taking this one with me today because it is a long drive. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next Bookish Ramblings. Bye. Mm -hmm.